Before we get started, I wanted to say a special thank you to today's sponsor, Sam Ash Music. If you play music in Las Vegas, you know Sam Ash. You can pick up microphones, percussion, guitars, pianos, all sorts of musical instruments. They also have lessons and special uh, performances on their stage. It, it's overall a great place to go. You should definitely check them out. And um, tell them Josh sent you from Room 6. More importantly, click the link down in the description. It'll take you to their online website. It will help the channel out. I appreciate it. I know you'll appreciate it. Thank you, Sam Ash, for sponsoring today's video. And uh, thank you for watching. So let's go. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm doing a comparison between two bargain blended scotches. Uh, one is John Barr, and another one is Buchanan's. And uh, I'm kind of excited, but I'm also a little trepidatious. The John Barr is in an airplane bottle, so I decided to get that out of the way first, just because it was easier to open, to be honest. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share. And uh, yeah, let's go. I looked up some reviews online just to kind of get an idea. And I'm happy to say that my nose and my palate match what I found online. What I'm not happy to say is I cannot recommend John Barr uh, Reserve Edition for any fan of Highland Scotch or even Isla. Um, the Space Side, the, the peat lovers, they'll like it a lot. On the nose, real subtle light peat smoke, uh, some sherry, some apples, a little touch of you know vanilla, some of the usual baking spices. But the problem is that it was really hard to get them because of the peat smoke. It just, what started out as light, eventually started, uh, once it had been opened a while, started overwhelming. Now on the palate, the, the peat is definitely more prevalent. This is an oily blend, <clears throat> almost syrupy. Uh, my, the best thing I could compare it to is imagine you're eating chicken stock that's had a, a chance to coagulate and it leaves you that with that real greasy mouth feel. It's, you want that in something like chicken stock. You don't want that in your scotch on the rocks or with water just all it did was kind of um made it a little worse to be honest moving on to the buchanan's buchanan's is actually a 12 year old whiskey uh it's a blend so you know take that for what it's worth it's uh on the nose real citrusy the usual baking spices citrusy almost an orange zest uh for or like uh, candied orange slices and uh, after a few minutes of being poured then it, it tended to mellow out a little bit on the notes. The box and the bottle are tastefully designed without too much ostentatiousness. Uh, it's a twist top, but it was locked down with one of those pull tabs like you get on a, a, a gallon of milk. And they made the pull tab look like the seal, which I thought was a nice touch. Unfortunately, what I didn't appreciate was there's a flow restrictor on the bottle and the cap can't be fully tightened down. So on the palate, it's a much brighter burn on the tongue, but it's not unpleasant. Um, it's a little bit of chocolate and orange, almost like the chocolate-covered orange-flavored candy you would get at Christmas. There's just the slightest amount of peat in this, uh, but instead of overwhelming, it gives some complexity and depth. Unlike the John Barr, my mouth is not left feeling coated in oil and grease on the finish. I can actually see enjoying this neat, on the rocks or in a cocktail. This is a whiskey for celebrating and enjoying life, whereas the John Barr is more for drowning your sorrows or, or writing the great American novel. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you found it somewhat informative. Bear in mind, these are my opinions. These are not necessarily what you're going to get out of them. All I can say is, overall, I'll take the Buchanan's over the John Barr, but in a pinch, the John Barr will, uh, will suffice. If you want to see more videos like this, please click up in that corner. If you want to subscribe, please click down there where it says subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. Really appreciate you watching. Really appreciate you stopping by and subscribing. Remember to be amazing and we'll see you next time on Room 6.